guys, so I want to apologise in advance if this video is a bit rushed or a bit blah. It's because I'm really excited about filming this and I just want to get it filmed and rip into what I'm about to unbox. Here's some backstory for you. Last week I entered a competition. I was scrolling down my Twitter feed and I saw that the book people, who I will link to in the doobly doo below, were doing a giveaway of a book bundle. All you had to do was name who Benedict Cumberbatch playing in this picture. Obviously I'm a huge Robert Christmas Carol fan so I knew it and I tweeted Ebenezer Scrooge at them. Didn't think much of it. An hour later, I got a tweet back saying that I'd won the bundle. I was really happy and I was really excited about it and I thought, you know what, don't get too excited because it'll probably be a little while before you get it. Fast forward to last night when I arrived home from uni and this behemoth box yeah, it's that heavy. That was waiting for me on my bed. I got super excited and I wanted to do an unboxing, but it was dark and I used natural daylight to film, so I couldn't. Cue this morning, me getting up, getting home as soon as possible, and setting up my camera. It is time to unbox this awesome giveaway bundle of books. Okay, box is here on my knee. I'm gonna start opening it now. It's open. Oh my god. <gasps> there is so much in here. Oh my god, I can see what's on top and I'm really excited. Okay. Thank you, the book people, firstly. You're awesome. The first thing I can see in here I'm so excited about. It's four. I I haven't bought this book yet because I, I really wanted it, but I couldn't justify buying myself a hardback of like a short type story. And here it is! I'm so happy already. <laughs> Don't need that. That's really cool. It's a book of cakes. I actually love baking. Maybe I'll bake some of these for Christmas. Moving on, moving on. So there's Alan Titchmarsh's book. I didn't even know he wrote anything. Oh my God, it's signed. Oh, that's so cool. Next is A Thousand and One Little Skin Care Miracles. That's really, really cool because I've got really bad skin at the moment. So this will be good to read. I don't know what this is. Oh my gosh, it's like a little notebook where you write your own comics. It's really cute and on the front it says, the best notebook in the world because I made it. And it's got letters so you can write different things on the front. That's so cute. It's so blooming cool. Michael Mopurgo's Pinocchio. I didn't even know this book existed and I really love Michael Mopurgo's writing. Oh, it's illustrated as well. This is the landscape photography workshop. It has everything from lenses, to focus, to tripods, to printing, which is actually really useful because I'm thinking of buying myself a new camera, a proper camera, not just a vlogging camera. Everything in here is awesome. Okay, I know most people won't get excited about this. It's Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte, but I'm really excited because I've never read this book and I really want to read it. And I now have my very own copy. I actually don't know what happens. No one's ever ruined this book for me, so that's really exciting. Philippa Gregory's Stormbringers. I actually haven't read any of Philippa Gregory's books, so this is super cool. Ugh. Oh, and I love any book with a good inside cover. Next is Paul Auster's Winter Journal. I do not know what this is. Wow, okay, so he's a big he's a big writer. That's all his past books. This is heavy. Wings. 100 years of British aerial warfare. Oh my gosh. My brother is an airline pilot and my dad is obsessed with the Air Force and they will both love this. Oh my gosh, there's a huge hardback at the bottom of here. The Strangest Child by Aling Hollinghurst. I'm pretty sure I've heard of it and it's a beautiful hardback edition. Awesome. Okay, I think I've got five books left. Ooh, a classic. Gulliver's Travels. I've never read this. This is really good because I don't read enough classics and I've already got Wuthering Heights and this one. So now I can really get on that. Oh, I think these are all classics now. It's Wizard of Oz. Never read it as well. And I love, love, love the story. Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. Haven't read this either. The Phoenix and the Carpet. I've not ever heard of this. It's by E. Nesbitt. It's a sequel to The Five Children It, which I think I read when I was young. I probably still have a copy. It's weirdly got um, a post-it note in it. I feel like this is some kind of odd sign. And finally, finally, King Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table. I don't know the story, and I should. Look, the 
box is empty now. So this is the huge pile of books that came out of that amazing package. When they said it was a huge bundle, they were not lying. In total, there are 17 books. Thank you so much, the book people, for choosing me. This is so awesome. I am now gonna pimp them out and say they're a really good website to buy books off. Their books are really cheap, they have some really different books on there and they've got a lot of young adult if that's what you're into. I feel like this video is gonna be super long as it is so I'm going to shut up and go away now. I'm gonna uh, leave a list of all the books that are in here in the doobly -doo below in case you wanna check any of them out. Thank you again, the book people. I know I've said it a hundred times, but you're awesome. Thank you for sending me this bundle. I'm really excited about it. And it's just been a really good Christmas present. I hope you're all having an incredible day and are looking forward to Christmas as much as I am. As always, like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to see more of my face. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.